welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for you guys to be here today with me. I actually have my first haul. Um, I decided to do Forever 21. And I know there's a lot of mixed opinions out there. Especially, there's a lot of conversation about sustainability and fast fashion. So, it's an interesting conversation. Because when you talk about fast fashion and the price point that fast fashion is at, for a lot of people, that is what is in their budget. Are the Forever 21s, the Shein's, um, some people, the Zara's, which is a little more elevated form of fast fashion. But everyone has a different budget and a different price point they can shop at. I know that it's not just about if, whether the item is going to live in your closet or not, or if you're going to throw it away in the landfill situation. It's also about the workers, what kind of conditions that they're in, and what are you supporting. So I just wanted to take a moment to kind of acknowledge that aspect of it. However, I will say I'm a recovering shopaholic. I used to buy a lot of Forever 21. Some of my favorite pieces that still live into this in my closet to this very day are from Forever 21, and I still get wear out of them. So I don't consider them fast fashion because I'm still using them to incorporate them into my livelihood. Now, to be honest and to be fair, how many pieces of Forever 21 clothing have I bought over the 20 years I've been shopping there? And how many are still relevant to my day? How many did I wear only a few times before giving them away? So that's kind of the conversation to have about it. But that said, um, I do think Forever 21, if you're shopping smartly, and really this goes for anywhere you're shopping, is to have the ability to make multiple outfits, multiple looks, and buy pieces that you know that you can incorporate into your everyday life. So uh, let's get into it. So let's begin with a very simple loungy piece. Um, actually, let me go ahead and pull this up on my phone because I want to be able to tell you guys what I purchased everything for. Let's do this. And I will link everything in the description box down below, of course. Perfect. Okay, so let's get into it. My first piece is going to be this really neutral, soft, loungy shirt dress. It's a really soft material. It's got a tail where it is longer in the back than it is in the front. Um, I, this is a cozy kind of piece that you could wear. Honestly, you could sleep in this perfectly fine or just throw it on you know, if you wanted to go get the mail. But you could also wear it out and about. And it's a piece that I know that I would style with a, a chunky neutral shoe, kind of like that Balenciaga kind of dupe. Uh, or I would wear it with my combat boots and a moto jacket. And I feel like it can really elevate it and turn it into a look that I would even go out for drinks then. And that shirt retailed for, or shirt dress rather, retailed for $22. So knowing that I can get multiple wear and it's an easy quick piece, for me, I definitely think it makes sense. I also like that it's this neutral color, it's a tan. Being that I have dark hair, blue eyes, and very pale, olive undertone skin, uh, tan usually isn't a color that I can wear on its own. But the tone of this one, the tonality of it, it doesn't completely wash me out. So it's actually a tan that I can wear. It's kind of got like a gray undertone, which gray is a color I can wear. But because of the undertones in this, I'm able to pull it off. And that's something always to consider when you're purchasing colors that maybe aren't your best color, but you still like them and you want to be able to incorporate them into your wardrobe. Look at the undertone, too. Next up, we have this really fun kimono tie style uh, kind of silky jacket thing. Now, I love the print on it. For me, it was giving me total Versace vibes. Uh, I love anything with a good Versace vibe. It's got the chain kind of thing going on. I really enjoy this. It's green, a bright, really nice green. So this kind of thing, I could see myself styling it a few different ways. 
I will put this over simple little black dresses to kind of dress them up. And I do have a lot of probably very short dresses in my closet that are more for a club going out. But if I wanted to be able to wear that same short little black dress to dinner, throwing something like this on it with the length would be able to um, kind of change it up. As you'll see uh, in the clip. <laughs> I also would wear this with a pair in the summertime as a cover-up. I think it would be really cute if to wear to like a pool party kind of situation with cut-off high-waisted jeans, a little black top, or even a black bikini top. I think you could pull off with tying this in the front and it would look really, really fun and cute. So um, I think it's a great piece. And this one I paid, let's see here, $29 for it. I feel like 30 bucks for that. I mean, it's a nice, I think it's like a nice quality, you know, for Forever 21. And I think it's got the vibe, uh, like I said, the Versace, so I'm pretty happy with that price point for it. Next up is this Bolero thread. Now this, I got a really good deal on, and I didn't even realize it. So when I purchased it, I paid $28.99 for it. And it is a velvet bolero jacket. And as you can see, it's sequenced up. It's got these really great sequins. I also like that these sequins are gold. It is these rhinestone staling. And you've got the uh, white kind of shiny rhinestone in the middle. Now this bolero was originally $100, which is this worth $100? Probably not. But for 28, yes, absolutely. I think it's great. It's a jazzy piece. It's something I know I'll keep in my wardrobe for a long time. I mean, even right now, because I'm in this white uh, tee and jeans, if I chuck it on here, you kind of see, like, I've kind of elevated my whole look. Something like this, put on a fun gold booty or a, you know, nice pump, and, you know, boom, I'm fancy. I, I really like this. <laughs> So yeah, I think this is a great piece, and I think it has a lot of versatility, and I like the idea that I can dress something up. Um, it's really, it's really a kind of quite a cool piece, and elevates, elevates an outfit, right? So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> and then, I'm going to pull out this little friend. So I love this. This is a Grecian goddess kind of maxi dress. It's made of a light, very light uh, linen material. But what I like is it actually does have a lining. So I was very concerned when I purchased this. that if it didn't have a lining, I was going to return it because no one needs, you know, a see-through dress. But it's got these openings on the side here that are um, really, really nice. So it's something you would wear without a bra. But again, it's lined well enough that I don't think that I feel like I would have to wear um, a bra with it, or I could do those nippy covers if I didn't really want like the whole nip, nipple situation happening. <laughs> but it's a beautiful dress. Now, obviously, it's kind of more of a summer piece, going away on vacation. But I know that I can get wear out of it with my All Saints gray crop leather jacket. I, this piece, like these colors together, all of a sudden, you know, you whack that on, and I add this little scarf to it, and you've kind of got like a whole a whole moment. You, you've made it more winter, more fall. You know, it kind of goes into those icy tonal vibes of January winter time. So I know that that's a piece that I can carry through the seasons with me. It's not just going to be something I can only wear in the winter. And again, that's something I really look at, if I'm, especially, I mean, I feel like no matter what price point you're shopping at, you should think about, be very mindful of how many different ways, how many outfits you can get out of something before you purchase it. So, yes. And then, oh, I don't think I told you guys how much that one was. Let's see here. That one was $35. Again, like, I feel things that are in the back $30 range from Forever 21 are a bit high, but like I said, it was lined. I can wear it multiple ways, and I'm telling you, the fit on it is just, I love it. I feel so slim and trim in it. And where it comes, cuts me off right here is like a small point on the body, and then it, you know, blouses out and goes down. It's beautiful. Like, it's one of those pieces that if you've been on holiday and you're drinking 
quite a bit of Pacifico on the beach and your tacos and your guacamole and you're feeling a little kind of bloated, maybe not as tight and right as you were at the beginning of day one of holiday, you can put that dress on and it's going to be very forgiving and it's going to show you off in all the right places and give you that lovely little side cleavage thing that I think is so sexy. So yeah, I'm again happy with that. And then changing directions, this is to me very like a Scandi black dress. And when I say Scandi, I'm referring to Scandinavian kind of style. It's very loose on the body, kind of shapeless. It has this slit, which doesn't go very high, but it gives you a movement and a, a glimpse of leg. Now, I am someone who prefers to show the body and to wear things that are more fitted. I think being tall, I feel like sometimes if I don't have something fitted to the body, I look bigger than I really am. But I will say I do really like this dress. I, the only thing if I was going to wear it by myself, I would probably walk on a belt with it just to give that shape and that waist, uh, just so it looks a little more fitted. And I really enjoy this dress because I think it's versatile. Um, as you can see the length on it, it's long enough that you could wear it to the office, but I also think it's got enough style and merit that I would happily wear it to dinner or drink, you know, out with friends and really change it up if I was wearing a blazer like I am here in this gray uh, tonal kind of look and or I would just throw on my classic black leather jacket and there you go, you know, like it totally changes the look and makes it edgy and cool. So yeah, and that, I'm not sure if I shared with you how much I paid for that. That one was 22, which I think is really reasonable. The fabric is thick, um, really nice. So really good buy. I'm very happy with that kind of piece. Now, the next thing I did was I wasn't sure which dress I want to keep, and I'm actually going to ask you guys because I feel like I need to return one of them. I bought two dresses in the same style but different colors. And so let me show you what I got. I don't know if it's going to look much, much here as I hold it up, but it is a off-the-shoulder wrap maxi. Now, I'll tell you why I love this dress. I paid, how much was it? $29.99 for it. And for me, this definitely on a budget gives you those Rachel Zoe maxi dress kind of vibes. I like the mint. It's Again, this is the color I typically wouldn't wear. I don't know if I, it's really something that's quite my color, but when I put it on, you know, it kind of gave me that icy cool kind of vibes. Um, I really like it though. It's, it, it's different. It's definitely at first glance seems very, very spring. But there are ways I could change it up. Another way that I can get more wear out of this dress, instead of it just being that kind of summer, um, spring weather dress, is to layer a jacket with it. One of my favorite little guys to wear is this cute, lacy, creamy jacket. It is so cute. It's cropped, so you're not going to lose the shape of the dress. Um, and it's great because I think it's uh, three quarter length and the, how the sleeve hangs through it is just a really sweet, really pretty look. And with the color, it's still spring, I know, but I do feel like I could get away with this in the fall because of the texture of the lace, especially if I paired it with, say, my little uh, tan hat. You know, you kind of get maybe some boot brown booties. You get more of that kind of rustic fall look. And then for when it gets a bit colder and you know you think, oh gosh, I have to put this away, you really don't because you bring out a little shag coat like this. This one is a cream one from H&M. And the cream color I think looks so pretty. It's just like that. I mean, you wear this and you've got this really icy January kind of wintery look that I think would be so beautiful. And I think it looks really good, the cream and the uh, mint color together. It's a little unexpected and beautiful and with the texture I think it just really makes it appropriate for the colder weather and it helps to stretch you know the use of the dress. And of course I got the same dress, different color, and that one is this beautiful marigold color. I know this color is really hot this season. It's been done a lot on the runway. 
I believe this might be Pantone's color of the year. I'm not sure, but I think so. But again, I love this dress. It really does have that uh, Rachel Doe uh, kind of vibe and feel, but not as expensive. And it's a wrap dress, just like the mint one was, the bottom, um, and it's off the shoulder. So again, this, like, to play it straightforward, you know, I could do this for a night out with a metallic heel. I really love my Jimmy Choo's with this. I think those metallic colors look really great together, and it's very, like, you know, very Hollywood, lots of layered gold necklaces uh, kind of feel. But of course, to get more looks out of this dress, um, I could pair it with sandals and have a really cute farmer's market kind of feel with it, put maybe a denim jacket. But I also really like the idea of doing kind of something uh, shape-wise surprising. So I have my suede jacket that I've had for ages. This is an old uh, Kate Moss or Topshop piece that I've had. And it's kind of shapeless, it stays open. Um, and you wouldn't think you'd want to hide the shape, especially somebody like me that prefers to wear things that are a bit more fitted. But quite honestly, when you pair them together, as you can see here, it looks really nice on. And it's kind of unexpected and fun, and it just feels really uh, very fall, very autumn. And I think it's a really fun way to make the dress look a little bit more rustic. And then, you know, of course, you can always play it with your moto jacket. But with this one, I don't think I'd want to do a black because I would feel a little bit like a bumblebee. So doing the brown, uh, this tan brown one, I think is really nice. And it gives, you know, a really nice fall look. It got a little bit more warmth with something like this. But it's still giving you um, that really beautiful kind of edgy uh, 70s chic vibe. And I'm not done yet either. <laughs> Another way I can see doing this is I have this jacket, which is my knockoff of Alicia Silverstone's jacket and excess baggage. I was obsessed with the yellow jackets she had, so I picked this up a few years ago. I haven't gotten too much wear out of it because it's such a bright jacket, but I thought this dress made it the perfect opportunity to pull this guy out and play with it. I would also pair it with a mustard pair of suede heels that I have. And I really think that look would pop. It would give it that tonal, very fashion forward, very expensive kind of look. And I think it would be a really cool uh, on trend look. So, yeah, um, just some ideas I've been kicking around with these guys. I don't know which one I'm going to keep. I would love to hear what you guys think. So, please let me know below in the comments if I should send back the mustard dress or if I should send back the mint dress. So, um, yeah, let me know, because I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I really like both of them, but I really think I only need one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Let me show Mwah. you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better.